You all ready? You ready to move? Yeah. Okay, ladies. There we go. They're gonna be very You two? No, that was not necessary. Bold. You, Inca, bold. They were doing exactly what needed to be done. So they can now have fresh grass. Their udders are lax. You can see they're not as taut as they were. They're very lax. And that's what you look for in an animal that's drying off. What you don't want is them to be hard or cold. And those are lovely and lax udders. So now is the time when you want the sheep to re-get their body condition back on so that they can be put in lamb later this year. So they're gonna have a lovely time doing the grazing now. Let's see. Yeah. You're still a little taut. That's, that's uh, Ebony, who I was concerned about, but it's taut in a soft way, if that makes sense. So they're all gonna love eating in here now because they've been on a, an essential fast of non-rich food. You can see they've grazed the paddock down to a nub, whereas here is quite rich now. So I'm only gonna leave them here for a little while and then I move them to another paddock. But that, they've grazed that down to the nub so that all that's left standing are thistles and a few dandelions and daisies. No, a few daisies, not dandelions and nettles. So that is a paddock that will rest now for quite some time. And the yews are gonna love being in the orchard for a little while, just a short while. And then I'm gonna move them into another paddock that isn't as rich. Because the rich food might bring their udders back up again. lovely seeing them all happily grazing. Some of them, like that yo, is racing around looking for the tasty bits, her favorite bits. Probably doing a bit of self-medication as well. <laughs> 